If you are doing bird watching, especially in Sri Lanka, you should know this. During the migratory bird season, some birds come a little earlier. Some birds come a little late. If I, sorry, when I uh, mean a little earlier, I mean generally the season is between November to end of March. But some bird comes, some birds comes in mid October. So today I'm going to take my time to create a video about a bird who comes in this way to my country. So this bird is known as the blue tail bee eater and it is known as, I mean, it has many local terms such as Mahakurumini uh, Kurulla, Ambea, Ranilla and Nilpeda Bigoharia and also it is known as Natal Kurulla because it comes in the <coughs> month of December. So today's video is about this uh, uh, migratory bird, the blue tail beater. So welcome all of you to the channel, RSL Explorer, I Bowen. So first of all as usually before going deeper with the uh, birding information, let's have a look at this blue tail beater. Alright, uh, so by now I think you are uh, familiar with this bird uh, in terms of its uh, physical uh, appearance. So uh, actually this bird uh, belongs to the uh, order called uh, Quarakiformas and they belong to the family called uh, uh, Meropidae. So under this family there are really four species of birds that can be seen in my country. So if I name them, they are the blue tail bee eater, locally it is known as uh, Nilpeda biguaria. Then comes the little bee eater also, known as uh, little green bee eater, uh, which is known as uh, punchi biguaria in local terms. And then comes the uh, chestnut headed bee eater, tabala hisa uh, uh, biguaria in local terms. And the other one is the Eurasian bee eater, uh, that is the uh, sorry, it's called it's called the European beater. Uh, in local terms, it's known as uh, European biguaria. So most of them are migrants, uh, but the uh, uh, there there are several birds. I mean, nearly one who are very uh, I mean who are considered as uh, rare migrants. Uh, the Euro the European beater or the European be uh, Bigora in local term is a bird who is considered as a rare migrant to the country. So uh, if you go to the dry zone you can easily see the uh, little green beater. So they are nearly they are known as near passerine birds. Uh, actually they are characterized by their uh, richly colored plumage. Uh, that's why they are given different names like green beater, blue eater, chestnut beater and etc etc. So, uh, if you look at the physical appearance, you can see uh, they have black color downturned curved beaks. They, they have uh, slender bodies and uh, what else? Uh, and also they, actually they are, they are uh, what you call, uh, their motherland is like Africa, but uh, they occur in different countries and continents like Australia, New Guinea then uh, southern Europe and uh, Madagascar. So, uh, yeah, and there are more uh, interesting facts, interesting facts. And also this bird uh, likes to uh, stay near uh, water bodies, like rivers, streams, like that. Uh, and also the male and the female are unable to recognize, distinguish by the physical, physical appearance. And uh, what else? I think there are some more interesting facts to discuss, but beforehand, let's see some more beat action. Let's get into video once again.
Well, so I think uh, you are almost uh, familiar with the appearance and different uh, uh, behavior patterns of this uh, blue tail beater or the Natal Kurula. So there are some more and actually a couple of uh, facts remaining which are interesting for you to tell. So I just want to tell them before winding up this video. So actually these birds can be seen in even the busy city areas uh, perched on antennas and uh, tall lampposts. And also uh, these birds uh, prefer to eat uh, insects like these uh, dragonflies, butterflies and also eat uh, these hornets then bees. That's why it is called the beetle. So if you just pay attention to its uh, behavior when uh, catching its prey, it just uh, see the prey and it's, it uh, follows the prey and just catch it in the air and bring it to the place where it perched and it hit, hits that particular prey on a branch or, uh, or the uh, wire or something where it is sitting perched and it uh, breaks off the exoskeleton of this uh, insect and it shallows and also it vomits the parts uh, which cannot be digested it's also interesting and uh, there's another thing uh, uh, when the prey is uh, uh, flying towards the ground it doesn't uh, follow that prey it just give up and come again to the place where it stayed and also uh, this bird is uh, very famous for good eyesight uh, uh, generally the BTS can see uh, nearly 200 feet from the place it is perched and also there's a bird in Africa known as a blue cheek beater. It is said that it can see the prey uh, even it, when it is staying uh, nearly 330 feet from the bird uh, where it's perched. So uh, it is uh, said that it has a good eyesight. Uh, and also uh, these birds rest at night as a colony, as a group. Uh, and also what else? There are a couple of facts remaining. Uh, yeah, I think I mentioned, uh, oh yes, uh, I forgot this one, I mean, it is, uh, I mean, only a group of them are migrants while the rest of the birds are staying in the country as residents and uh, doing their breeding. So it is said, uh, I mean, bird enthusiasts have found their nest in places like uh, in uh, Kumana, then uh, there's a place in... Uh, Potuil, uh, uh, it is called Bagura, it is a place close by to Potuil, and uh, there's another place in uh, uh, what you call uh, Akarpatu, uh, that village is called Oluwil. So, in these places, I mean in Oluwil, in Bagura, and in Kumana. Uh, Bird enthusiast has found uh, Danis. So remember that not all of them are migrants, but only a group of them are migrating to Sri Lanka. So that's also really interesting. Yes, so I think uh, there are a couple of other videos remaining. Uh, so let's uh, look them and enjoy those videos as well before winding up this uh, particular vlog. <laughs> I think I gave sufficient information as in my previous videos about this uh, early migratory bird, the blue tail bee eater, which is known as the Natal Kurula or the Nilpeda bigoria uh, in local terms. 
So it's still uh, remaining in the country. So if you go near paddy field, you can easily see this bird. So don't uh, miss that. Don't miss that uh, valuable opportunity. So quickly, if you haven't seen, just rush to an open area like a paddy field. You can easily see this uh, beautiful bird. So yeah, I know it to all who haven't seen this bird yet. Uh, please have a look and enjoy the Mother Nature's beauty. So I think uh, that's all for this video. I'm going to wind up from this point. So as I say always, uh, thank you for watching the video. If you did from the beginning, I appreciate a lot. Then uh, you can also give your support from your end. You know what to do. So I will highly appreciate that as well. Yes, uh, so uh, please uh, use the information I have given through this vlog. See these birds. So that's why I'm doing this kind of uh, bird watching hobby, hobby videos. You can do it free of charge. You don't need big equipment. Using your naked eyes, you can uh, enjoy these uh, natural things. So, okay. Thank you once again for joining with RSL Explorer. So let's meet next week with another video. It can be about bird watching or can be about travel. So that's all. That's all for this video. Goodbye and good luck. Uh, wish you a happy stay and happy birding. Aye boy.